Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the last video of 2020 and what a way to finish in style because today's video is going to be about this Lexus LC500 convertible which was launched like three days back and this car is actually going to be going away like tomorrow or maybe day after but this is like an exclusive filming opportunity which I was given by Lexus UAE to film this particular car and obviously I was pretty happy because when I drove the the hardtop version of this LC500 I was blown away because let's be honest this car is comfortable this car is luxurious this car has the one of the best sounding engines the standard car wasn't beautiful enough then this is absolutely next level so today i'm going to be taking you all around a detailed walk around video of this lc500 sadly we are not going to be going for a drive but when as and when in january when the drive starts i'll make sure that i get this car for a proper review but for now enjoy this beautiful LC500 convertible. Before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel and also make sure to press the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel. Well, let's start off from the front end. Obviously, the, the lights are the three LED lights that you see with the signature DRLs and also there are more turn signals at the bottom and then there are vents out here which these vents are not the fake ones but the real ones, again, the signature grill design so if i show you from the side you will be able to notice that it's got like curves and stuff and there's more chrome and uh, like a surround around these grills and then these lamps are actually so detailed you really have to see it from close like you know there are more designs inside and again the vent out here and it's the long hood that you will see the bonnet or the hood and then underneath that is a 5 liter V8 naturally aspirated petrol engine that produces 470 brake horsepower and it's got the world's first 10 speed gearbox and obviously it's a rear wheel drive car and let's continue then these massive 21 inch rims and huge brakes and there's a Lexus on the caliper and the side profile again so from the bottom it's pretty much the standard lc500 that you have seen these are power foldable they are blind spot warning system in the side mirrors and then is this door handle look at this how cool that is and then there are more side vents and again these vents are actual vents and not just the fake vents and then there is a skirting at the bottom like a piece which flows out and then again goes in and check out how broad the car is from the back it's really wide from the rear side and then this is what has changed and you can see there is no roof i mean there is a roof but it's a soft top fabric roof when lexus apparently this is the first time that they have done a soft top roof and it looks absolutely i know i keep mentioning that it looks beautiful but it's it, it you really have to see this in person to understand that you know this car looks absolutely gorgeous when the top is down and look at this design like it's so flat you know and also there's like a small bit of lip in the back for a little more added downforce and the roof actually goes in it so let me come in the back because that's where the interesting bit is now these obviously the led tail lights that you see out here uh, again one of the unique designs that you find at the bottom more chrome and the, the dual exhaust tips and there is another this chrome thing which i don't know why has been put because it's just a plastic trim inside which looks really odd in the back but nonetheless the back also looks quite cool and now the thing is if you want to open the boot here is the button for it and when you open the boot you will get 149 liters of boot space now the thing is that in spite of this being a convertible you still have 149 liters of boot space so lexus has been able to squeeze that roof right out here in this pit so that 
the boot space is unaffected, which is why they couldn't introduce the V6 hybrid because there was just too much to pack into this. So, and anyways, I'm glad it's only V6, oh, I'm sorry, the V8, which is going to be available in this car because it sounds absolutely meaty. And speaking about the meaty sound, just have a hear of this exhaust note. Now, after you're blown away by that exhaust note, let's continue. And for the first time, yeah, I can show you the interior from outside and look at this. This is like premium quality material everywhere. If you see, there is like a glass, a small one out here. Now, that is given so that so when the roof is usually down, there is a lot of buffeting that happens. The air that, you know, swirls around, you know, because of the roof being removed. So this particular glass helps in eliminating that. And especially when the windows are winded up, then actually you cannot hear any wind. So I mean, just a small amount, but then you can literally not hear anything inside the cabin and well that's just the lexus way of doing things and you know making sure that everything inside is quiet and comfortable now this particular lexus lc 500 convertible is a hundred kilograms heavier than the standard hardtop lc 500 and that is because of the bracing because when you remove the roof from the car it actually becomes very twisty so in order to make it more stable it, there are more bracings in the chassis which is why it's you know like the same amount of uh, you know rigidness that you get from the chassis as the standard hard top one and also there are lots of uh, suspension changes you know to make the ride more comfortable I mean, if it wasn't comfortable before, there's no four V steering again, because there is like the roof that has to be fitted in the back, which is why Lexus has to remove the four V steering because it couldn't fit so much of, uh, you know, things. Continuing with the interior, it's an absolutely brilliant place because Lexus sure knows how to spoil you. So, you know, there is not even one bit where they've used normal plastic, the dashboard, which is soft touch again, there is also this sort of suede type material out here in the dashboard even the door cards they have everything leather even at the bottom there is soft touch plastic there are two grab handles out here for the passenger so in case you go too fast then the passenger has a couple of handles woo, to hold on to when it comes to the dashboard there is the this gorgeous binnacle in the center which moves around and then you get the usual information for your trip information the modes that you are in and even these dials change uh, the moment you change the different uh, driving modes that you get on this car which is the the sport the sport plus normal eco and comfort mode and there is like a knob given right out here on the dashboard and this is actually a very clever thing because as i mentioned even in the previous lc 500 that you know this is an easier way to switch modes instead of you know finding it around in the dashboard you're just driving you flick it and it's very easy and the best bit is the moving binnacle and it's actually a physical dial that moves around and it actually makes that sweet sound of you know going around and when it comes to the steering wheel again it's electronically adjustable and it's also got like this leather covered steering wheel again with the stitching and on the right side you would find the controls for your lane assist your cruise control and all of that and on the left side you would find your infotainment and communication control and these nice paddle shifters again metal ones oh the quality of it these seats are again made out of semi aniline leather and they are super comfortable and it's also got this lexus embossing in the back and then it's got this cool design and then they are ventilated seats so they are also cooled and heated seats and there's also the air conditioning control out here in the dashboard again it's just straightforward uh, buttons given out here you can also control using the infotainment screen from inside let me switch on the car so i can see the screen now as you see there is a big 10.3 inch screen but what has not changed is the touch screen so there is still no touch screen so you have to use 
the trackpad which is this now that's the only bit which is you know remaining for this car to become one of the perfect cruisers but on the plus side you get apple carplay to choose and you know when you're out and about it's easy actually to use it using your phone but anyways because this this screen is actually quite far so i don't know if it was a touch screen you would have to do a lot of this but instead in this you can just sit comfortably and enjoy the drive bear in mind that this is like a very unique car you know so it's got the presence so the moment you see and let's be honest it's quite rare too so whenever someone notices it on the road they are either going to give you a thumbs up or they are just going to be blown away that's for sure in terms of the storage there's a small bit of storage in the door cards again that's pretty much the same thing from the standard lc 500 and then there's this slidable uh, cup holder out here and then you can also open the the storage box in which you will find two usb ports and also an auxiliary port and 120 watt power socket and to put it back you just have to simply press it there's one more cup holder out here then there is a glove box with with the button for which is out here again everything has a touch of you know quality to it when it comes to the rear two seats now the rear two seats are literally just there for the sake of it i mean because uh, there's not really much room especially if you are planning on sitting comfortably in the front then the room in the back really drops down but you can use it to store your luggage when you are going on a longer journey and there is also a mark levinson sound system the woofer for which is mounted in between those two rear seats now when it comes to these actual driver and passenger seats these are adjustable in 10 way electronically it's also got the lexus branded carbon fiber door sills in order to put this roof up and down you may be wondering where the buttons are because usually it's out here on the on the roof but no the button out here for that roof is given in between in the center console so when you press that button you see the roof in action now so it's it's got so much of clever mechanism and it, this roof actually takes 15 seconds to fold up and it takes 17 seconds to fold down now you know what i actually like this car when the roof is folded down so i'm gonna be just folding it down again because yeah and you can just keep watching this mechanism all day long like all day like and even when you see it from the rear view mirror like there are so many things which are happening like the mechanisms you know the boot opening and then the roof going in and then there's this loud thudding and you can also fold down all of these windows and then yeah but then the thing is that uh when you fold these uh, windows down there's a lot of air noise that will come around so the best thing is while going outside you know just put the windows up so there's a less amount of air buffeting now when it comes to the safety systems you also get the same standard safety systems that you would find in the lc 500 hardtop version so you get the airbags abs um, you know the lane keep assist there is also cruise control there is also a heads up display the button for which is given on this left side so you can easily switch it on and off although the heads up display shows you just the compass and you know the speed and the rpm and that is pretty much it and apart from that you also get the child isofix points in the rear seats but i don't know if you can really squeeze the child seat in the back unless the, there's no passenger and then you can just you know uh, move the passenger seat ahead and then you know you can fit actually the the child seat in the back another cool bit about these seats are these straps that you see out here now these straps are actually for the seat belts to hold so you know when you get in and out it's easier for you to grab the seat belts otherwise if when you keep them back it's it's really like a stretch but then the thing is when someone wants to get in the back you have to just undo the seat belt you know remove it from that uh then that strap and then again put it back and then you know use it otherwise yeah it's it's, it's actually quite far but thanks to this strap it's actually quite easy that way oh uh, actually i feel so tempted to take this car out and then you know drive it but yeah i think i'll have to wait till whenever the drive start the sc500 is something which is more about being stylish you know being exclusive because 
I, I can assure you when I took this, the hard top version on roads, everyone was, you know, trying to get a glimpse of it or, you know, giving me a thumbs up. And especially when you are going to take this, especially with the roof down, ah, oh, this is going to be like, it's going to be a rare occasion when people are going to see a stylish car with also comfortable, actual comfort features inside. And then when you're cruising around, you would really realize that, you know, what, what sort of, you know, rare thing this is on road. And it's a sight to behold, because let's be honest, the, the cars are slowly turning into electric cars. And this is pretty much the last few examples that you would see some brilliantly done examples of, you know, V8 naturally aspirated engine, which actually sounds so great. And yeah, till the time you get to get, drive them, I mean, why not? Just make sure you do that because who knows when this will end soon. And I think that is pretty much it for this year. And I am so glad I was able to end the, the 2020 with this car because let's be honest, at the start of this year, uh, I, I, I never knew that, you know, I'll be around these cars or, you know, getting to attend launches or getting exclusive content for you guys like this. But I think a massive thank you to you guys for tuning in every single time and watching these videos, making sure to subscribe to, for liking, for sharing, for, you know, motivating me every every post, every video, whatever I was creating and, you know, giving me that feedback. So, you know, I knew what you all really wanted and, 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 you know, what, what you all demanded, because the whole point of this channel was that, you know, to have honest reviews, to have like, you know, get you the straight sort of out of the box, you know, like what I see is what you are going to see and, you know, whatever features or whatever I didn't like, I wanted to be honest and, you know, get everything in front of the camera for you. And I hope I was able to help you in at least, you know, making sure that you can decide the right car for you. You guys are the reason this channel has been and because I get these opportunities. I hope this video was enjoyable and give this video a thumbs up and thank you again for tuning in. And I hope you have a brilliant and a fabulous new year. I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, then you can click here. And if you want to watch more videos, then click here. How can I forget that? Anyways, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.